So it's no secret that Captain Marvel is in deep waters as a result of Brie Larson's offensive comments. If you're not aware, Brie Larson, the actress playing Captain Marvel, stated that she doesn't care what 40-year-old white men think about the movie A Wrinkle in Time. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. She basically said that she doesn't hate white men, but doesn't care what they thought about that movie. She's pushing for more critics to be of various colours and religions. Now, that in itself is not a problem, but when you straight out say that you don't care what a certain demographic thinks about a film, you're straight out being rude and in this case, sexist. Now, I get that certain films may target specific audiences, but A Wrinkle in Time, which is a movie I would not recommend, is in no way specifically for non-white men. It's a family movie, and guess what? 40-year-old white men are a part of families. Her continually saying how important the character is for women is great, albeit is nothing new in action films and comic book content, which are supported by many older white men. Brie Larson has gone on in small interviews and said that she doesn't want the white critics to be fired, but just bring in the other critics. Sadly, that's not how it works. Um, what I'm looking for is to bring more seats up to the table. Yep. No one's getting their chair taken away. There's not less seats at the table, there's just more seats at the table. Yeah. That's it. There's a set amount of people you can actually get to be at a press event. If it was possible, then Brie would still be doing press tours with white males for Captain Marvel, and simply adding more interviews into the tour, including people of various backgrounds and cultures. Look, I'm torn between watching this movie or not. I don't agree with what Brie Larson said, but I want to watch Captain Marvel so I don't miss anything in Avengers Endgame. Heck, that was the only reason I was going to watch Captain Marvel in the first place. This movie won't be a box office bomb, it will just underperform. The interesting thing is that I'm not white, nor am I 40 years old. However, I do find it ridiculous that a popular actress can openly support the idea of dismissing the thoughts of movie critics because of their age, colour, and gender. A critic is trained to be a critic. They may be biased in some aspects, but to say that they can't review a movie even though it is their profession, which they worked hard to achieve, is ludicrous. The media industry has not disagreed with her, with many saying that Brie Larson was justified, and that the bad comments all came from men who have a misogynist attitude. I can't believe news sites and journalists could say such things. Imagine all the people who push that want to see section for Captain Marvel from 96% to 26% are men. Which for your information, Rotten Tomatoes has actually taken away. The chances of only white men not being interested in this film is so unlikely. Impossible actually since my own sister disagrees with the comments by Brie Larson, and I, a 20 year old brown man, disagrees with what Brie Larson said, and is thinking of not actually watching this movie. This brings us to damage control. Have Kevin Feige and Marvel tried to fix Brie Larson's mistake? I think they have, albeit quietly, as to avoid losing any fans, since the media has already branded people sexist and what not. Brie Larson appeared at the 91st Academy Awards to announce the winners for Best Original and Adapted Screenplay. The funny thing is that the Academy, the people who choose which movies win, is mostly made up of old white men. Wait, old white men? The same people's views that Brie Larson said she doesn't care about? Yup. Here's my rough recreation of how Kevin Feige's conversation with Brie Larson on damage control went. Hey Brie. Hey Kevin. How you doing? Good thanks, what's up? Well, I was reading this article and it has you quoted as saying that you don't care what 40 year old white men think of a wrinkle in time. Now you do say that you don't hate white men, but can you see how saying something like this is offensive? It's the truth. I'm a 45 year old white male. I'm also your boss, so please indulge me. A Wrinkle in Time wasn't made for 40 year old white men. Bree, A Wrinkle in Time was made for families, and not just coloured families, but any family. 40 year old white men can be a part of families. It doesn't matter if a person of colour directed the movie and if the cast is of mixed actors, the movie is still for everyone to criticise. You can't say that you don't care about what white men have to say. But I'm not saying that I hate white men, but changes need to be made. So say that. Don't say you don't care, but say that you encourage more people of coloured and various backgrounds to take up a career as a film critic. If they become of a high level, then they could take prime positions in big time companies and go on press tours and such. 
Now we've got to do some damage control. What? Why? Look, Bree, I'm not Kathleen Kennedy. I don't plan on shoving social agendas down people's throats in a successful franchise. I don't plan on firing you and reshooting a whole movie. I don't run Disney Lucasfilm. I run Marvel. So when you insult the core demographic of our viewers, we're going to control the damage. The media supports me? The media called haters of The Last Jedi racist and sexist, even though people who hated the movie were of various races and genders. The media doesn't matter to me. I care about the fans. Ah, uh, fine. What do you want me to do? You're going to the Oscars, and you're going to announce the winners of Best Original and Adapted Screenplay. Wait, you want me to go to the... Wait, you want me to be at the Oscars? You know that the Academy is filled with mostly white men. You won an Oscar two years ago, and you still have it. Yeah, well, it's mine. Old white men voted for you. I'm going to make sure you go back to the Oscars and be supportive of everyone, not just who you want. You represent Marvel. Your words represent us. And we don't dismiss older white men's opinions. We don't dismiss anyone's. We work in tandem with all fans. And bring someone likable with you. Please welcome Academy Award nominated actor Samuel L. Jackson and Academy Award winner Brie Larson.